Well, it looks like Acer confirms while it was accidental the actual specs of the GeForce RTX 5080 and the 5090. How did this happen? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Someone made, you know, an oopsie and posted it. And actually, it was a part of their gaming series. This was the RTX 50 series GPUs through their Predator Orion 7000 gaming PC listings, apparently. So information was posted, someone grabbed it, and it confirms that the RTX 5090 will have 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, and the 5080 will have 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. Mm. Would have been nice to see a little bit more than that, NVIDIA, on the 5080, considering what it's going to be priced at. And I have another video where I go through the prices on this. I'm going to try to remember to post a link to it up here. If you're on TikTok, head over to YouTube about that. It's crazy. The prices are insane. I'm not sure if I'm going to release this video first or the other one, but yeah, off the charts, expensive, if it's tr actually true. And of course, these cards will be unveiled at CES in 2025, that's in January. So next month, I'm releasing this video in December 2024. So CUDA cores, well, for the 5080, there's 10,752, which is kind of disappointing. It's half, really, of what the 5090 has. The 5090 has 21,760 power consumption. If for the 5080 is 400 watts, and for the 5090 it's 600 watts. So you know, if you have a system and you want to upgrade, you might need to also upgrade your power supply if you can't afford the RTX 5090. And as for memory bus, well, the 5080 will have a 256-bit bus, uh, and the 5090 will have a 512 bit bus so you know that's why there is or seemingly a huge difference in price between the 5080 and 5090 or the uh, rumored or s speculated price of these two video cards which again are absolutely mind-boggling they're you know crazy yeah it's fast no doubt about it but super expensive however take all of this with a grain of salt